Hello, welcome back to Ayastek. In this video, I will show you how to upload a website or any files on your Hostinger account. So when you log into your Hostinger account, you will see this H panel that will look like this. Okay, once you are on your H panel, then you need to click on the manage button and then you will see this dashboard. So basically there are multiple ways to upload files. So one approach is using their uh, existing file manager that is available in this H panel that you can use. And after that, the second approach is the FTP account. You can create an, an FTP account and then you can use FileZilla and you will connect your Hostinger by using that FTP account with that FileZilla and then you can upload it that way as well. And the third step is you can create a github repository upload your files there and you can connect your uh, github with your hostinger and then you can enable automated deployments with the help of your github so that is a bit more complicated but uh, uh, that is a bit more te uh, technical but i have recorded video about that as well that you can watch i will share the link in the description below so you can check that as well anyways so let's continue on the sidebar in the file section you will see the file manager button if you click on that you will see two buttons access files of iastack.com are your domain name and on the right side you will see access all files of business wordpress hosting so if you click on this one you if you have multiple websites or domains under your one hosting account you will be able to manage all of them from one single place but if you don't want to go there you just want to keep your focus on one single domain then just click on this button okay so i would like to use this domain to do this experiment so for that just click on this button by the way i would like to upload my website or files on this path in the test folder so once you are in the file manager you will see this page where you will see the folders the first folder is public underscore html click on that and from there we have the test folder go there right now it is empty now i have a zip file of a website so i will simply drag and drop it to my file manager and then i will extract it there so you can either directly up select and drag and drop your files and folders or you can zip them and drag and drop there and extract it there so let's do that all right the zip file has been uploaded now click on that right click and here you will see the button extract <clears throat> here it is asking you to choose the folder name where you want to extract it uh, i want to extract it as uh, where it is right now so i will not specify anything here and you can also specify the destination as well by clicking on that it will let you go back uh, to the folder tree or you can go further deep in the nested folders and if there are already some files that you may want to overwrite you can just uh, check this checkbox and then it will replace those files with the new files that you are uploading anyways just click on the extract <coughs> so it is saying that choose the folder name maybe i should specify dot here okay so dot means it has extracted the zip file in the same directory where we are right now and now there was a folder into that folder <coughs> into that zip file so now i need to move all of the files from that folder so i will just double click on that and let's select all of the files and right click on that click on the move file and here we have to select the folder where we want to move it so we want to go back so now we are one step behind in this folder tree so just click on that move you you can see that all of the files have been moved in the main folder there where we want to keep them now just delete this zip file because we don't need them anymore okay and also we don't need this folder as well so let's delete it all right now if you reload this page you will see the website is live now okay so you can see it is working everything is functional so this is how you can upload any files or website to the hostinger by using their existing file manager okay now next let's 
use the FTP approach to upload the same file. So let's do that. I'm going to delete all of the files again. All right. Now let's create an FTP account and use it. So in the files section, click on the FTP accounts and here you need to create an FTP account. So here we have selected the public underscore HTML directory by default. You have to specify the username. So here I will specify the username and I have specified the password as well. Now let's click on the create button but the password is weak we cannot use this password so we must have to specify the stronger password so let's try a stronger password okay it is saying that the username is already there so let's create a unique one okay now i have created another user with the test one name i have pasted password here so that we could get it back once we need it so also this is the username now let's open the filezilla we need to select the folder from where we want to transfer the files okay now here we need to add the host address username and password to connect so for that let's copy the host name okay i have specified the host name now let's add the username and now i will copy the password and let's test it by clicking on the quick connect so <clears throat> make sure you select or copy the correct username so this was the correct username so instead of just test one we should prefix it with proper string that we have provided here and now let's test it once more and for the host name i guess we have to use this domain name okay this time it worked just click on the ok and it is saying that login incorrect so actually while copying this password there was full stop as well that we did not copy that's why it did not work so let's add that missing character as well all right now it has been connected successfully and on the right side you will see the folder structure of my domain just click on the test folder because this is where we want to upload the files and now we have to drag and drop the files but right now this folder is zipped so we have to extract or unzip that folder first so if you are in the mac just double click on that and it would be extracted now if you go back here and let me refresh now you will see that new folder is here just select all of the files and fol folders and drag and drop to the right side of this area and on the bottom side you will see the progress on the top as well you can see these are all of the files that have to be uploaded to the remote server okay once all of the files have been transferred you can go back here and reload this page if it is still working that's mean it was uploaded and let me just refresh this page just to show you that it is uploaded already here okay so that's it thanks for watching i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you are looking for a reliable and affordable web hosting provider i highly recommend checking out hostinger i have been using them for my own projects and have been really impressed with their performance and features if you are interested in trying out hostinger i have included my affiliate link in the description below by using my link you will not only get a great deal on hosting but you will also be supporting my channel which helps me continue creating content like this if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more tutorials on web development programming and tech tips i would also love to hear your thoughts and questions in the comments section below for those who prefer written tutorials be sure to check out my blog at ayastech.com there you will find the written versions of this tutorial and other tutorials along with my many other helpful resources and guides thanks again for your support and i will see you in the next video